everyone, welcome back. So the 2016 Booktubeathon is now over and I thought that I would do a Booktubeathon wrap-up video. Despite being extremely busy towards the end of the Booktubeathon, I am quite pleased with how much I was able to read and how many books I was able to get through. The first book I was able to read is The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. This was able to complete my challenge for read a book that is older than you. This book was published in the 1950s and I am 26 so I'm pretty good with that challenge and it was also my challenge to read a book and watch its movie adaptation. So I did watch both the BBC version of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and the Disney version. And this book roughly had 200 pages. Of course, I gave The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe a 5 out of 5 stars. It is one of my most reread books. I also read Saga Volume 6 by Brian Vaughn and Fiona Staples. This book had roughly 150 pages. I also gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I was quite shocked with the ending and I'm really excited to see where this story is going to go. Next I read 125 pages in Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass. I am buddy reading this with Hannah over at the Rainy Reader and at the beginning of the month we decided to read roughly three chapters a day so that we can get through this book by the end of the month. So for the days between the 18th and the 24th that was roughly 125 pages so I was able to complete that. Queen of Shadows is going for the challenge to read a book by a favorite author. Sarah J Mass is quickly becoming one of my favorite authors. I am not even finished with this book yet and I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 stars because this book is fantastic. I didn't think that Queen of Shadows could beat Air of Fire but I was wrong. This book is amazing. Next, I read Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. This is the second book in Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This book has around 396 pages. That is including all the pictures. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars as well. This is probably going to be one of my favorite sequels. I loved the first book. I thought it was so creative. I loved the world building and the character development. This book just took it to a whole new level. It was full of action, lots of twists and turns, um, a huge twist at the end that I was not expecting, and it's, it's amazing. I highly recommend this series. For the fifth book, I read Rat Queens by Justin Weeb, Volume 1, and this was the challenge to read a book after sunset. It was also the challenge to read a book with yellow on the cover and to read a book that you discovered through BookTube. Rat Queens Volume 1 had roughly 120 pages, and I also gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. If you're really not into adult content with um, vulgar and violence and adult language, then I don't really recommend it. But if you do enjoy Saga, then I really, really enjoyed Rat Queens. I was also able to read Volume 2, which was the sixth book that I read for the Booktubeathon, and that one had roughly 130 pages. So in total, I read 1,120 pages, which I am very pleased about. That is a lot of reading to do in one week, especially since I was so busy. And by the way, if any of you guys were curious as to why I am moving, my husband and I are just moving to a bigger place. I'm excited to have like my own designated filming area for my camera, my lights, and my bookshelf. So I'm really excited and if you're at all interested, I was thinking since I'm going to be unpacking all of my books, I thought it would be the perfect time to do a bookshelf tour. So kind of stay tuned for that if you're interested. Anyways, back to my Booktubeathon wrap up. Pretty much I was able to do all of the challenges except for one which was read seven books. I really wanted to read Rat Queens Volume 3 but 
towards the end of the week I was just way too tired and I really wanted to relax but I'll end up reading it this week. Alright guys well that is it for this video. Comment down below. Let me know the books that you read during the booktube-a-thon and what challenges it pertained to and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!